by just clicking on the Health Console tab on the left-hand side. The default here is going to show me all of my paying customers, so all of the company's paying customers. Quickly, we can get a breakdown of the health of the entire company um, or the entire organization's customer base. We can see the total health quality score, um, the total dollar amount that is in or that kind of makes up the health quality score, the total number of accounts. We can obviously see right here there's about 660,000 that is at risk. That comes from 38 accounts. I can easily click on any of these if I wanted to, and it's going to show me the list of those accounts. Um, really, most of the things within the Health Console, you can click on and gain um, additional insights around. We can see the total number of accounts here, and then we can also see the total contract value. As we scroll down, we can see the segment. The default, if you have not already customized your Health Console, is to pull the segments from the health profiles you have defined. So maybe for your organization, you're tracking onboarding, established account, and maybe expansion. Or maybe you're tracking, um, you have those different buckets set up for the type of client, or maybe the contract value. Um, whatever your company has set up for the health profiles may be in here, and we'll also show you how to customize this yourself. So just at a quick glance, we can see the total um, number of accounts in paying customers or in my onboarding segment. Again, I can click the number here and it's going to show me the accounts that are in onboarding. As I scroll over, I can see the total contract value in that segment, also the contract value that is at risk. Again, green, yellow, red, so good, average, or poor health. And then and on the far right, I can see the trend, and I can see have the score, the overall health score for the onboarding segment increased or decreased over time. And then also the, the darker blue bar is what percentage of those accounts were um, in the attention center, so pinned into the attention center. If I wanted to adjust any of these or make changes, I can click the little gear wheel, I can move it up or down, or I can reconfigure that specific uh, health segment. If I wanted to add a new one, so something that I may find important for my book of business, or um, if I'm a manager and looking for um, a certain segment of business to analyze, maybe I'm a VP or an executive of CS, and I want to analyze a different, um, a different part of the business, I can go in here and name, um, let's see, today we will do contract value. Sorry for my typing this morning. So I've named the segment, and then I'll go into my attributes and choose contract value. Let's say I want to say um, all of my customers that are between paying between five to fifteen thousand dollars. So I can say I want to know more than five thousand dollars, and I can also then add another attribute. Same attribute that are paying less than 15,000. Click save, and it's going to populate at the bottom of the health segment here. So we can see under contract value, I have 29 accounts that are paying between five to $15,000. And I actually should have named this better, so I could go back in and reconfigure that and change the uh, subject line. But then here I can see for my customers that are paying five to $15,000, the total contract value, what percentage of that or what dollar amount is actually at risk, and, and how do those accounts fall? Um, so I see you know, a, probably about 60% are actually in good health. And again, I can monitor the trend. So if for any reason I wanted to add another segment, um, I can do, let's say, contract renewal date. This is one that I personally use, so for any of my clients that are on the phone, um, I'm able to track um, when your renewal cycle is coming up. Um, so let's say contract renewal 90 days. Again, I select the attribute, contract renewal date, is in the next 90 days. 
And this is completely customizable. So if you are a CSM on the phone, you can come in here and set this up specifically for the book of business that you manage and see the different segments um, and really cut your, your book of business in however you want to view it. If I'm an executive, I may want to look at company sizes or how do the um, how does the overall book of business for the company look at different sizes or different license type, or maybe it is tracking the stage of, um, of my clients across uh, different stages. So now that we've built the individual segments that are most important to me to track or for you to track as a company, we want to see where are their areas of concern. So out of the ones that I've just created and the ones that already existed, I can see that onboarding looks to be struggling a little bit. I can see that just under half is in average health and, and a little bit less than that is in poor health. I have about $290,000 at risk in my onboarding. So I can go over here and say, okay, you know, what's happening at certain times? Was there a change within the organization? And then maybe as I have identified this issue, I can then say, we need to implement a new program. We need to engage our clients sooner or more frequently during the onboarding process. And then once you have implemented that change, you can come in here and be able to analyze, did that improve the health or the distribution of my accounts? Did accounts move from red to, to orange or orange to green? and hopefully be able to see an upward trend of your accounts moving from poor and average health into green, and obviously being able to see less and less of a contract